Welcome to the Cubby Corner here on SouthBendCubs.com. I'm South Bend Cubs broadcaster Brendan King here for episode four of the 2019 offseason where we will again welcome back a former South Bend Cub to the program. Of course, our first episode with David Bodie. Today's program will feature former South Bend Cub way back in 2015, Ian Happ. Back with you on the Cubby Corner, Brendan King joined alongside Chicago Cubs outfielder Ian Happ. Ian, thanks for taking some time tonight. How has it been at uh, Cubs convention this year thus far? It's been awesome. We're early on. Uh, yeah. We got a lot of hours to go, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. Good to see fans already and uh, excited for the line out there. What's it like seeing that line at first? You just lines and lines of people waiting just to meet you and get your autograph. It's crazy. It's crazy. We have such a incredible fan base. They're so dedicated. Uh, I spent a couple hours at a booth earlier today and uh, just the, the initial response has been great. In a little earlier, you were signing autographs on your prints, the artwork done by Pat Val. Just describe that and what's it been like uh, th today, uh, getting that meeting bands and signing those. Yeah, uh, super exciting for us to, to be able to introduce that to the fans for the first time. And uh, we're, we're doing these prints to give fans the on-field perspective, and we're doing it while benefiting Cubs charity. So super special work for us, WrigleyThroughMyEyes.com. I know last year you had a conversation with our very own Chris Hagstrom during Cubs convention. You talked a little about your time in South Bend. Yep. Wasn't for long, only for 38 games. But you played under Jimmy Gonzalez in South Bend for a little bit. Um, anything you took out of those 40 games that is, you know, helped you grow through the system and now ultimately now playing outfield for the Cubs? Definitely, yeah. Uh, those, those 40 games I was there, uh, I had a blast, but it was another step up, another, another level of pitching, and uh, I just really enjoyed actually playing in South Bend, actually being there. Great place to play, obviously, in the All-Star game coming this year. But uh, to talk a little bit about this year, obviously, you started with the bang. Uh, how long did it take you to become aware that Jim Deshays and you had some kind of psychiatric thing going along that he called it? He did. He did. I, I saw the clip later on, and, and I wish Jim would have just kept calling that every time I was up to bat. That would have really helped. Yeah, Ian Happ had seven home runs in spring training, five of them leading out the game. I expect him to take a pretty healthy cut here if he gets a – Juicy looking first pitch fastball from Urania. Urania to Hap. And a drive to right. Go, baby. What were you saying, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Go. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my. How did it feel? Just trotting around the bases. Did, did it hit you that you just, you just homered on the first pitch of the year? You know, it did. Like, as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh, my God, I actually did that. <laughs> and uh, getting back in the dugout, just seeing the reaction from my teammates, that was the best part. Now, moving on to 2019, uh, big year coming up for the club. Just your personal goals or anything you're trying to focus on as we head into spring training next month and then uh, opening day just two months away. Yeah, I mean, for me, going to spring training, I'm just having my body ready, um, being in great physical shape. And uh, it, basically, spring training is our time to get ready for the season. So uh, I'm excited for that, and I, I think that we're all on the same page of let's go out and start strong and have a great year camaraderie of the outfield between you know you Kyle Schwarber Jason Hayward what's it been like to grow with those guys uh, in the past couple years now it's been awesome uh, I've been so fortunate to be with this this group uh, I think we all really care about each other and we, we've really had the same group for a few years now so to be able to be a part of that has been really special how much does it mean to you you know Joe Madden's coming back you have such a great relationship yeah. with, with him uh, I'm excited for another year yeah always excited to be with Joe um, the way he manages the way he gives us our freedom uh, we absolutely love it. So, yeah, to have Joe back is is super exciting. Now, you made a guest appearance a little earlier on the South Bend Cubs Instagram and Twitter with your bobblehead. Now, I want you to rate the bobblehead and uh, just what you think about that and your, and your thoughts. I know you have a whole box of them. Yeah, yeah, I do. I got a box at home of those bobbleheads. I love it. I was clean shaven. Yep. Yep, that was probably the last time I was clean shaven. So grab that bobblehead. You won't see it again. <laughs> well, we gl we're glad we were able to bobblehead you. Was that, that was your first time being bobbleheaded, right? First, that was my first time. Yep, you guys well, did it. I'm, hopefully the Cubs will do one and they can only uh, do better. But, yeah. uh, Ian, we appreciate being with us tonight at the Cubs convention for the Cubby Corner. Brendan King, Ian Happ, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much to Ian Hatt for joining us on the Cubby Corner. It was great to be with him at the 2019 Cubs convention. And today, folks, just 50 days away from opening night here at Four Winds Field. Remember, April 4th at 7.05 p.m., the new look South Bend Cubs will take on the West Michigan Whitecaps for the first of a quick two-game series before going on the road to Grand Rapids to finish up the four-game set. And with opening day looming, again, April 4, 7.05, that means single-game tickets are soon to go on sale. It'll be March 6th 
2019 at noon right here at Four Winds Field. Now, you have a couple ways where you can buy tickets. One, you could come join us right here at the South Bend Cubs box office. And if you do, the first 100 fans that show up will be served hot dogs and Uncle Ray's potato chips. So a chance to buy tickets, come see everybody at the ballpark, and also get a free lunch. But you can also buy tickets at SouthBendCubs.com or by calling 574-235-9988. Again, that's March 6th at noon. Individual tickets go on sale for the South Bend Cubs. We appreciate you watching this episode of the Cubby Corner. We're back next week with even more content. Until then, have a great week, everybody, and so long.